Yo, what's up guys? You got Pogame here. Today we have the first usage stats for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And half a million battles were played. And there's some insane stats here. I mean, look at the first four Pokemon. 30% usage between them. But yeah, half a million battles were played. We now have a UU tier for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We'll be discussing that uh, briefly as well and just be going through the pokemon giving my thoughts on why they're OU, what they actually do in the tier and stuff like that as well i want to know your guys thoughts on the usage i want to know your guys thoughts on the new u tier which we will be going over and yeah that's it if you guys like the video leave a like subscribe if you're new i upload a bunch of pokemon content and let's get right into it so the first pokemon we see at 32.70 percent usage that means that out of over half a million battles 32.70 percent I think a certain range as well of score points. We're using Scizor. All right, that is absolutely insane to see. That is absolutely insane to see. They were actually 200. If you actually look at this list right here, there were 261,479 Scizors. That's crazy. That's actually, that's actually crazy. Like when you think about that. But uh, yeah, Scizor is number one in usage. There's no, honestly, there's no surprise here. Manaphy, Latio, Starmie. I put Manaphy in the list just because it's a special attacker, but special defensive Scizor just comes in, eats every hit, and you turns out. Like even Manaphy with like I used Mystic Water Manaphy and I did like 38% to Scizor with a serve. It was crazy. A max special attack. But it just comes in and U-turns. It's the best defogger right now, in my opinion, as well. And uh, being able to allow other threats to come in and not really have to worry about Latios, right? Like shrugging off Spec Strickle Meteors, Spec Surf, Spec Thunderbolt, Spec Psychics, being able to roost with that. Obviously, the Swords Dance sets are pretty threatening too, even though they don't have Knock Off anymore or Sewer Power. The, the, the SD Quick Attack Brick Break sets are still pretty crazy. The SD U-Turn Bullet Punch sets instead of Defog are just still pretty nice. Scissor just provides so much utility and uh, it's a great steel type, honestly. It doesn't care about Latios, which is being assessment tested and is probably broken. So we'll see uh, if Latios even ends up on the still tier, the same tier. So Gliscor is number two, a uh, very similar, very similar, providing stealth rock, providing defog support, uh, U-turn special defensive is one of the better uh, Gengar checks in the tier as well. Being able to take uh, Shadow Ball from it, obviously Specs Hex does like 80%, it's insane how strong it is. But you also have to be careful if rocks are up with taking uh, a spec shadow ball too. But Glasgow can eat that. A nice heat train answer for the team. Can still eat hits from Latios. Part of the reason why Latios is running Ice Beam is literally Glasgow. Uh Can in itself, in its own right, check Breloom, check Garchomp, check Infernape. So Glasgow again, makes a lot of sense. Easy rocker to throw on teams as well. Uh, Garchomp at number three. I'm actually a little bit surprised that Garchomp is above uh, Latios. But I like SD Chomp a lot. I like Scarf Chomp a lot too. I think it's a great check to Pokemon like Gengar as well as Latios too. Uh, I think SD Yachi has a lot of usage and I think that Sub SD is really strong too. And Life Orb is just really nasty. I know some people are also running Special with Stealth Rock Draco. I don't like that set as much because it actually doesn't beat Gliscor. Uh, but it does end up beating Scizor which is pretty cool too. So uh, Latios being number four, I mean it's... it's in my opinion, it's it's a top five mon. Like I mean, right, obviously it's a top five mon based on stats too. But in terms of power in the tier, it's top five mon in the tier because of the spec Dracos just having no switches. There's no pursuit in this updated version of DP, right? There is no pursuit. So Latios is just free to click Draco Meteor, Surf, uh, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, whatever it wants, Calm Mind. Bolt Beam, whatever it really wants to be, a Manaphy check in itself, an Infernape check, a Garchomp check, Gliscor check, Scissor Bike, the best answer to it, Underwear, Special Defense, and Clefable is another great answer to it as well. And even those can get overwhelmed with hazards or proper outplaying. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much longer we're going to see Latios in this tier. Who knows? We'll, we'll have a decision very soon. I'll let you guys know what ends up being voted on. If you guys actually want to take part of that suspect test, definitely check out the, uh, the Smoke on Thread so you can have a voice in whether Latios should be banned or not. It's really cool seeing Breloom at number 5 because this Pokemon was also really good back in DVP as well. Just It was amazing with the sub punch sets and then we started seeing Super Power Mock Punch sets with Seed Bomb Spore a lot as well as like a Tarantar check, a, a Lucario, Inferno, but just checked everything. It was good. But now Breloom has Technician and even though Technician is incredible with Swords Dance, Mock Punch, Bullet Seed, right? And the Scarf sets are good too with Force Palm and, and the Spore is still amazing as well. The sub punch sets are still just as good. They're just amazing because being able to put a Pokemon to sleep and just throw up 150 base power focus punch. Like Breloom is easily 
a top three offensive threat, right? I put Latios, Brandon, and Manaphy up there in terms of like offensive threats. I would put them up there uh, for sure. But it's really cool to see that this Mon, I, I, who knows if this Mon stays allowed either. I, I, I have no idea because right now there's so many threats that it's kind of hard to like, you're just kind of like using them as blanket checks for each other, right? Like Latios, blanket checks, Brandon. I say blanket checks because it can't always come in on Brelum, right? Five bullet seasons to mock it dies. It doesn't like a spore. If it's banded, Forest Pump does a million, rocks him to it, KOs type of thing, right? So well, they blanket check each other, right? So it's interesting to see uh, how that goes. Clefable at number six. Clef doesn't even need soft boil to be good in this meta. That's crazy. It only has Moonlight and Wish as recovery, but Wish is enough. Wish Protect is great. You see in Calm Mindsets as well. And again, I'm just giving my general thoughts on things as we keep going. And then we'll look at UU as well. I'll probably go to the top 10 and then uh, some things that stand out in the 11 through 33. I know some people see number 29 and they're very happy. I don't know how long that will last. Don't like, let's just be honest. We don't know how long that will last, but that's still pretty cool to see. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Clefable being great stealth rocker still, good support mod, life orb, calm mind, sweeper, unaware is probably one of the biggest things for it. And then this just, Clefable's just getting started, right? If Pokemon Home does end up bringing us back, like Pokemon that we could actually use with BDSP and like we can use Clefable, like, I'm just saying like if it goes both ways, right? Doesn't just mean I could bring my Pokemon there, but I could bring them back. Because I've, I've heard different things. Being able to get Softball back on Clef, oof, everybody's going to drop Moonlight, right? I absolutely love Gengar. Again, in a metagame where there is no pursuit, this is what Gengar wishes it was in Sword and Shield, but because it's outshined by Dragapult just because of the speed tier, um, and a, a few other things as well, um, you don't get to see it as much. But here, man, there are like no good Ghost Resists, and all the Ghost Resists get blown back by Focus Blast. So it really just comes down to hitting and um, with that mod. But for the most part, you just bring it in and you just click Spec Shadow Ball. If Stealth Rock are up, Special Defense and Gliscor cannot switch in on this Pokemon very well either unless you're running literally max hp max first defense with protect like protect will actually give you the extra insurance that you need which can be run on glasgow like glasgow is a pokemon that i'll probably be talking about uh, either tomorrow or sunday um it's so good at what it does but yeah you can run specs hex as well and hex will obliterate glasgow easily does like 70 80 percent to that thing if it's like damn near max special defense so it's crazy uh great speed tier speed type of latios is a big thing as well faster than garchomp uh, being able to 2 a KO Scizor with rocks guaranteed with Spec Shadow Ball is also another big thing as well. With this Mon, even if the leftovers and not being able to die to Bullet Punch is awesome. So I think that Gengar is really uh, back in its place right now. And even though there's no Hidden Power or anything to give it Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Ice, it doesn't really need them. Because Ghost is just so good. Right? We've come full circle. Gengar's back. It's back in all you and it's doing its thing. Infernape having a lot of uses. This this makes me happy. I love Choice Band Infernape and Life Orb a lot. I think that Choice Band is one of the better sets in my opinion uh, because everything on this list cannot take two hits, basically. Um, and that Mock Punch is really nice for checking Brelum that are weaker, checking Garchomp that are weaker. It's just a good it's just a move. It's a good month. It's a good month. Surprised that Blaziken is number 21 there, uh, but Blaziken got banned, so this the, the tier doesn't really matter when you see Blaziken. Blaziken is banned in Ubers, um, which is interesting that it got banned when. Like you see at 21 usage as well so but it was banned a couple days ago and these are actually based on games that were up until the end of november so it makes sense they'd be used less because it's not able to be used but i'm loving ape i, I know a lot of people like scarf ape as well as a good revenge color but cc ape really strong just breaking through those cores with the flare blitz starmie is also another mon that like real is really hard to switch into if your name isn't blissey basically if your name isn't blissey these analytic boosted hydro pumps psychics ice beams thunderbolts they're dealing or they're two killing basically almost the entire tier right for the most part they're two killing the entire tier spin up jirachi can eat um napoleon can switch in on hydro pump even if it's analytic boosted and take a thunderbolt after and not really do much back maybe grass not if it's special defensive with grass not um but depending on the sets like and obviously there are offensive checks as well like weavile is in the tier alex is in the tier i'm going to talk about alex as well by the way i think 20 is very disrespectful and i think people are going to really see soon especially if latios does get banned but even if it doesn't i think people are really going to see soon just how crazy alex is but um starman's great mon i think manaphy as well insane uh, tail glow is really hard to stop even if they're pokemon that are faster like Latios doesn't knock you out with thunderbolt so you tail glow up and you knock them out with ice beam in return uh underwear clef can stall it for a bit and the main thing is that manaphy is just so bulky that it usually takes two hits so it usually gets one or two ko's before it's able to do anything and obviously with the energy ball ice beam sets and it's not that's just like tail glow offensive right like there's calm mind variants that can do it even without rain this mon is still good even without rain this mon is still good 
I just tell you, it just makes a world of difference. And we see Heatran at number 11. Fantastic mon right now. I was using Heatran on Sun uh, with um, fire, like Sun boosted, uh, what's it called? Sun boosted Magma Storms. And I had a charcoal on it as well, so it was even boosted even more. And man, was I able to uh, Oko a Gliscor upon switching, of course. But uh, yeah. So I think Keytrain is a great Pokemon, obviously the Stealth Rock Magnus might have lost Toxic, which makes a pretty big difference because you can't Toxic Latios, but still natural check to Latios as well, Fashion and Braylon type of thing. You got D-Knight up there as well. Uh, number 20 I think is kind of disrespectful. I think that Alakazam is incredible, right? And I think the thing with Alakazam is that makes it different from Gengar is that if it hits, it's broken, whereas Gengar doesn't need to always rely on hitting. Um, and by that I mean that Gengar's Stab, Shadow Ball is enough to 2 a KO Scizor if it specs. But Alakazam can knock out Scizor with a plus two life form nasty plot. Well, plus two is how I get the plus two nasty plot. But it can knock out Scizor with a plus two uh, life or focus blast. So, but it has to land, right, in order to do that. And then Alakazam has the higher speed tier above Latios and Starmie. So it's really nice in that regard. And you do get opportunities to set up nasty plots. You do get opportunities to set up nasty plots with this. A lot of people like to use focus shafts because it's a good check to stuff and it's easier to set up in that regard. But the life form set is crazy because if you hit that focus blast on Scizor, Uninvested Scissor doesn't even knock you out with Bullet Punch, right? And if they U-turn on you and Stealth Rock are up, you do, I believe, 84 to 99% to a max special defense, max HP Scissor, careful. And they're not even all running that, right? Like, they're not even all running that exact set. Let me actually get you the exact calc right now because I, I did run that calc because I actually happened in a battle I played, but... And then on that, obviously, you know, there's a few Pokemon you have to hit Focus Blast versus Heatran, Tyranitar. Like, it has more. Whereas Gengar can just click Shadow Ball for the most part, as, like, Heatran's coming in and do a lot and just chip it down. But, yeah, like, Scizor, uh, yeah, 84 to 99%, exactly. So if Stealth Rock are up and that thing comes in on a Focus Blast, oof, or if it's already taking a little bit of damage as well. Like, and even if it's not running Max Max, like, if it's not running Max Max, if it's running the Impish set with 96 Special Defense, Stealth Rock, Shadow Ball into Focus Blast KO Scizor. So. This mod is a sleeper, and I think a lot of people are sleeping on it, um, just because Gengar is easier to click m buttons with, but this mod is a lot, this one's just sc super scary versus balance, and being fast in Latios and Starmie, that speed tier is so nice, so I think that Alexam is something that people are definitely sleeping on and need to uh, wake up a little bit when it comes to that. Uh, I love that Tyranitar is being used, I think that uh, Choice Band and just Stealth Rock support ones. Uh, with like Ice Beam or Shooka Berry and stuff like that, really good Flamethrower, Fire Blast, whatever. Um, I like Choice Band a lot. I think Choice Band Crunches and Stone Edge are a lot more powerful in a tier that doesn't have any Intimidate. Like, nothing's using Intimidate. If you're using Star Raptor, you're not using Intimidate. But, so then Choice Band Crunches and Stone Edges are very, very, very strong. And I think the Dragon Dance set with like Shooka Berry is super strong right now too because you run Dragon Dance, uh, Crunch, Stone Edge, and um, Ice Fang. Uh, you could also run like Earthquake if you don't want to run any of those other moves. But Ice Fang at plus one is going to be able to knock out Gliscor, and that opens up a lot of other Pokemon that you know, I appreciate Gliscor being uh, gone. Lucario being one of them, Heatran, obviously, and for an ape type of thing. So I think that Dragon and Tyranitar can be come back in the comeback. I think Ban is really good. I've seen Scarf a couple times too. Not as big on Scarf because there's no Pursuit. If there was Pursuit, I think Scarf would be everywhere. But or, and Max Bidef as well, like Pasho would be everywhere too for like Starmie, like back in the day in DV. But yeah. We do see Azelf and Aerodactyl both owe you as well. I'm just jumping between just to give you some little points. Uh, both of them are at the moment are just doing the exact same thing. Stealth Rock lead, dual screen lead. I've seen some nasty plot variants of Azelf, which I think are okay. But I think Alexam does that better. And I think that Starmie offensively just with water, ice, and electric hits more than Azelf's fire, psychic, and potentially energy ball type of thing. The big one being Heatran is that one. Uh, but obviously Azov has the fire move as well that could deal with uh, Scizor, so um, But usually those are typically leads on more offensive builds, so that's why they're there Weavile still an OU even though it has no knockoff, has no triple axle But the banded throat chops are very strong, they 2 AKO Scizors, you know, and even from a full HP you don't die You're faster than Latios, Alakazam, and Starmie, so you're faster than the biggest, you know, the three biggest special threats in the tier outside of Manaphy, which you obviously are faster than, too you still have Icicle Crash, which hits hella hard. You have Ice Shard to check Garchomp. You smack Goliath Score, Ice Shard to check Breloom as long as it's a little bit weakened. You can do a lot of damage. Great Pokemon. Good to see it. You see Mamoswine and Weavile on the exact same thing. Mamoswine is being seen on offensive teams too. And Substitute Mamoswine is being used a lot as well. It's 
pretty nice, especially when it flinches your Cresselia to death and crits you all in the process. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but maybe you know you do know from my personal experience. Specs Magnezone, still extremely good without Hidden Power Fire. Did not need Hidden Power Fire. Specs Thunderbolt, still easily 2 hit KO, special defensive Scizor. And once you get that Specs Thunderbolt damage off on Scizor, man, and then you turn out, next time Latios comes in, because you'll see Magnezone plus Latios, you'll see Magnezone Mamoswine, you'll see Magnezone plus Latias, you'll see uh, Magnezone plus Gator, Magnezone plus Dragonite, because they deal with Skarmory and they deal with Scizor. That's why a lot of Skarmory right now are running Shed Shell, simply because there's not a lot of knockoff, so it can afford to run that Shed Shell. But I actually think that Skarmory with Shed Shell is easier to deal with because then they don't have Sturdy. And there's a lot of Pokemon that I've been able to set up with and do things with because of that. But yeah, so Magnus Zone is still a great Pokemon with Choice Specs. I've also seen sub Thunder Wave sets as well and use sub Thunder Wave sets as, uh, too. Crawdon is pretty cool. One of the Pokemon that still has knockoff at the moment. Choice Band Crawdon is still a giant threat, especially with Clefable running special defensive. Even if they're defensive, it didn't really matter. Like Crawdon always 2 AKO though. But those knockoffs are hella strong. Good on Trick Room as well. Blissey number 19, uh, probably the best Latios answer right there. There's no Psy Shock for Latios uh, as well. You know, it's it's the answer to Nexus Scizor, right? The best Starmie answer in the tier right now. Um, one of the best Gengar switchings in the tier, obviously. And there is no Toxic on Blissey, but they can Thunder Wave and they can Ice Beam and Flamethrower. I've seen Calm Mind Blissey also being ran a lot as a means of dealing with like Gliscors and Latioses and Star. We still deal with the same thing, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I also saw like Echoed Voice to deal with Clefable with Unaware, so that's really interesting uh, to see uh, too. We do see Star Raptor at number 29. So again, I know a lot of people are happy. Star Raptor's finally OU, but I mean, it's been like at, it's been here before for a bit, and then went down. Like it was OU and DP, if I'm not mistaken, um, before it went down to UU, and you know, by the end of DP or by during DP, then it went to BL, right? I kind of have a feeling that this is just new Toy Syndrome. Obviously, Choice Band Star Raptor is very fun. You click that Reckless, Brave Bird, you get a kill type of thing, but it has a lot of competition. It's, it's if it's choice ban, nothing switches into it, but it doesn't. It can't really switch in on stuff, and it's not faster than a lot of offensive threats, right? And if it's choice scarf, then it's not as strong as the other one. So I do think this is new toy syndrome. I don't think we'll see Star Raptor throughout the entirety of BDSP OU, in OU, and I think it will eventually go down to UU and maybe even get banned from there and go back up to BL. We'll see, but um, it is very nice to see it at least right now in the OU tier. I think that's really cool. Uh, we see Empoleon and Jirachi as well. Similar roles, uh, both can be special defensive, whereas Jirachi wishes. A lot of Jirachi are running Wish, U Turn, Doom, Desire. I've seen Calm Mind sets as well. I've seen um, Energy Ball sets as well to lure. Meteor Mash sets too, because Clefable likes to stay in on Jirachi now because it can't touch it with Iron Head. There's no Iron Head in the game. So that's interesting to see. Uh, Rotom Wash, Rotom Wash, and Azu, some little some water types we see as well here. Uh, Bandit Azu and Substitute Azu are things that are being used. Bandit and Belly Drum also. Um, Bandit Azu is very hard to switch into, and it's faster than Support Scissor, and it does 2 AKO with Waterfall. So that's a big one. Obviously, Play Rough is scary too, and it you know, gets free attacks if Gly scores out in front of it. Whereas Rotom can be Choice Scarf, can be Specs, can be Nasty Plot variants, can be Choice Scarf plus Nasty Plot, um, can also be Defensive variants. I've seen some with Wisp plus Thunder Wave plus Volt Switch Hydro Pump. I've seen some with Thunder Wave plus Protect because there's no. Um, What's it called? Because there, I believe it's Pain Split that, that Rotom is uh, missing at the moment. So let me just uh, make sure that it's missing that. Yep, it's missing Pain Split so that for the leftovers recovery. I've also seen Chesto Resto Battle like that as much. Uh, but yeah, Specs Rotom is really interesting. I think that it's cool because the 2 AKO is Braylon and obviously has a strong Volt Switch. But Scarf is nice because you can trick and cripple things too that you normally would be threatened by. Like Special Defensive Clefable, you can trick and cripple that, uh, cripple that. So that's cool to see. I already mentioned Dragonite's Dragonite, but I think that's a solid Pokemon still. Uh, I think Choice Band is really strong too. With that, that extreme speed is very good priority, especially being able to deal with the weaker offensive threats like Infernape. Starmie doesn't have the best bulk. Latios doesn't have the best bulk. Braylon type of thing. Uh, having that higher priority. Uh, we do see Tangrowth. Tangrowth, one of the better Braylon answers as well. Uh, and Tangrowth didn't lose anything, right? It still has everything it had before. It didn't have Hidden Power, but it hasn't had Hidden Power in Sword and Shield either. So it still has Knock Off. One of the other few Knock Off users still have Focus Blast, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb type of thing. So you can see more support. It doesn't have Rocky Helmet though, which actually might make a bit of a difference. But that's not Tangrowth itself losing that. That's just the, the game we're playing that doesn't give us that. But I still think it's really cool to see Tangrowth um, basically still doing its thing. Above that, we see Lucario. I like Lucario a lot. It's good versus those balances that depend on Scizor or Fable. Uh, it's faster than Heatran, right? Extreme speed, plus two can deal with Breloom type of thing. Um, Glide scores that are normally running max stretch defense are not running more speed than a Jolly Lucario. So 
a plus two like meteor mash for instance just to let me get the calc up there let me just run that calc on the side for you while you guys and, and meteor mash being the big thing because you want to have that to click fable right you don't have access to ice punch right now but who cares yeah so just like to give you a roll plus two attack life or meteor mash to 244 hp glide score or zero defense which is standard that's 78 to 94 percent so with stealth rock off you deal with them and if you're running adamant then you guarantee knock them out with rocks um guarantee because it does 87 and 103 however adamant's a little bit more scary because sometimes glass for can go more than 279 but for the most part they're not they're not because they're, i don't think they can afford to so yeah the car is a strong model right now cool to see it as well uh coming back we see ladias i think ladias is something we'll see even more of as well usually uh scarf ladias i've seen some combine variants uh as well but uh, usually healing wish support that's like the big thing that ladias wants to do uh, the Lotties are nerfed, right? They don't have their Mystical Fire, they don't have their Aura Sphere, but that doesn't, it hasn't really stopped them. But the big thing as well is they don't have tricks. So, like, Blissey is like a go to, um, a go to stop for these guys. It's, it's kind of sad, uh, really. But even Combine variants could be Blissey overall. But for the most part, I've just been seeing it as a support with Healing Wish support, maybe running Bolt Beam as well, Ice Beam for the Glide Scores and stuff like that. And that's, that's really what I'm seeing a lot as a Choice Scarf and like support. Uh, if you see anything different, that's cool too. Let me know. Uh, and then we see Toekiss too. I've seen Default variants, seen Scarf variants, uh, Default Thunder Wave. Uh, I don't like Toekiss as much personally right now. I think it would be better with Boots. Uh, it's still a good mod. Don't get me wrong. But and being fast in Brelum is a big thing. And being able to flinch. So it, I mean, I don't like Toekiss because I don't like getting flinched. <laughs> but yeah, Nasty Plot as well. can still do it in the Defog as the Roost. And then we have Gator. Gator at number 33. I think Gator is uh, solid. I think it's good. Uh, Tango one of the best answers to it in the tier because it can take a hit. Plus one. Man, if he eats hits too. Um, but not a lot really takes hits. Like Azu takes a hit too. But not a lot can take like a plus one, plus two Gator. So Dragon Dance Gator with the Sheer Force. It's nice to see it sneaking its way into the OU tier. And then when we look at the rest, like what just barely cut off from OU. Uh, if we actually just look at this right here. Whoops. No, that's not what I was looking at. Let me, uh, let me put the image back up. Apologies. What I why did I click that? My bad. My bad. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. So if we look at the stats, Gator was number 33, but Raiko, Rose Raid, and Cloyster, Needle King, and Slowbro barely all missed out on the OU tier. Just barely. The cutoff was 4.52. You see Raiko at 4.42. You see Rose Raid at 4.3. Spikes offensive. Raiko, I think, is really strong, especially with choice specs, because Shadow Ball deals with Lottie, and then you have the Scalds for the ground types, which I think are really cool. So, and Scald, like, two Ikeos, Glass score with the specs as well. Uh, Cloyster is something that was used uh, more so on offense as, like, a Spiker and Rabbit Spinner, but also, obviously, the late-game Shell Smasher. You have Needle King there, too, doing the thing it always does. And then Slowbro as well. While Slowbro did lose... Slubber did lose teleport. Uh, a lot of people have been using the the nasty plot future sight sets because there was a bug that let future sight plus like boosted attacks at the end of the turn deal unaware mons. Uh, I think they just actually changed it, so now you can't actually do that. And then you see Cress and Dawnfan, which I think are great to see as well. So Cresselia being like that check to to guard Chalm Glide Score, Calm Mindset and Braylon like Calm Mindsets could potentially win if you don't have a Heatran type of thing with Taunt. Um, and just a strong, annoying Pokemon. Then Dawnfan. It's great to see Dawnfan almost be OU again. I think Gen 5 was like the last time. Uh, but being a great offensive spinner, you guys saw how much work Dawnfan put in mind, whether it was Fire Fang, whether it was, you know, offensive spinner, whether it was defensive. Like just having that Ice Shard to be able to check the Dragons and like having knockoff support, having rapid spin support, and being able to set up Solid Rock. Awesome. So now we got all that, right? We went through OU. Some cool Pokemon, some uh, some good Pokemon, and now we have the UU tier. So if we look at this real quick, um, basically UU is standard dot right. Any items that you should draw for, including Pixie Plate and Roselli Berry, unavailable. Yeah, the exception of Celebi, Deoxys, Shaman, Dark Red, Arceus does not include alone forms. Basically, it has the ban list, which is the OU tier. Crazy to see certain Pokemon, but I just want to know like certain thoughts of certain things. Venomoth is down here, which is pretty cool tinted lens i'll actually be looking through it as well one of the things i really enjoyed using was salamence and i think there's no way that salamence stays at all and i agree with toy time i didn't even read what they said but no brainer here this mod is a cut above the rest i didn't read the rest at all but i agree completely i think that a salamence is one of the best mods in the tier having access to moxie 
uh, special sets as well, Draco Meteor, uh, Fire Blast type of thing, can be really cool. It is really hard to deal with a Dragon and Salamence in the tier. It is very hard to deal with a Dragon and Salamence in the tier. So Salamence is definitely one of the uh, one of the stronger mons down here. You do have Slowbro and stuff, but still, it, re it remains very difficult to deal with this mon. I was just straight up sweeping with it the other day. There is Ditto down here though, so I think like offensive teams, uh, I've used Drag Mag as well, so you saw like Dragons plus like Steels plus Magnezone, or Magneton, excuse me, because Magnezone is in the, uh, the the OU tier, but Magneton can do it just as well. And Magnarize sets are still very good. Flag on being here, like there are, um, oh, we can just put Ice, if you put Ice types, like we'll look at the viable Ice types right now. Uh, Cloyster is there. So that's a decent check to see that mon. The rest, not really. A bomb still can ice shards. So that's a semi check. And the rest, not really. So, like this, like, there's no violet, so you're not going to be using a possible. I guess you can still use possible if you want to. It does base 100 attack. But, and base 80 defense. But, like, yeah, there's no violet. So, like, this mon isn't checked. Scissor is in the above tier, so, like, there's no strong bullet punch to deal with it. I think there's no way that Salomon stays UU, right? This mon's going to be banned to. And then, and even, let, let's look at the fairy types, right? The only fairy types that are down here are. The only viable one is Gardevoir, okay? Sorry, not Ice Fairy. The only viable one is Gardevoir, for the most part. I, I, you, you could do, like, a, you can talk a little bit about Maul and Granbo if you want to support, but Gardevoir probably the only viable one, and Gardevoir doesn't even check this because at plus one, it dies to Earthquake, and if you're using Moxie, there's no Intimidate, so you can't uh, trace it and then bounce it back. Whereas Granbo and Maul, can he hits, but they have a lot of faults in their own, like they're Granbo and Maul, like Maul. They're <laughs> just... I, if I have to go more in depth with that, I will. But yeah, Mawal, it, well, it has 50 base HP. That's just enough, right? If I'm using Mawal, I'm not using a better steel type. Uh, Gramble has Intimidate as an option, but even then, like it doesn't have reliable recovery, so it gets worn down by hazards type of thing. And yeah, so this mon, uh, I, there's no way that Salamence ends up staying in the U tier. Let's see what else they highlighted here. Probably the best set of sweeper besides Talamence. Uh Let's see Blastoise. So let's look at Blastoise real quick. So obviously Blastoise has access to Shell Smash. You have Surf, Hydro Pump, Water Pulse, whatever the hell you want to use as your move. <laughs> water Pulse, still use Water Pulse. You Scald if you can do anything. You have Ice Beam, you have your Dark Pulse, you have your Aura Sphere type of thing. So yeah, like just an overall good Pokemon. There are not a lot of checks uh, down here. There is Chansey down here though. There is Chansey down here, but that's about it. I'm just trying to look through like what can really take it. Gastrodon can take a hit and clear smog back. Gastron can't even talk, so we can clear smog and just stall a few turns. Uh, another mod that's down here that's pretty crazy is Gyarados too. A uh, Dragon Dragonite's Gyarados is also super threatening. Um, not as threatening, I think, because it doesn't have Power Whip. It doesn't have... Uh... Do you have Bounce, my friend? Do you have Bounce right now? I feel like you don't have Bounce. Yep, it doesn't have Power Whip. It doesn't Bounce, so it's not as threatening, but still Dragonite's with Moxie sweeping is just extremely scary. Uh, Sun, obviously is very good too. Yeah, I like what Toy uh, King for some teams. Thank you. Uh, Sun is obviously solid as well. Um, Charizard, Victory Ball, Venusaur. There's also other things like Executor that can be down and Leafeon too uh, to a lower extent. Just any fire type really. Uh, Scarf Rikus looks pretty cool because it actually can check Pokemon like Blastoise. So that's a really nice speed tier as well alongside that. But uh, Sticky Web variants as well. There's Area Dose. I think Bronzo is going to be a good support mon down here too. Charger is going to be crazy under Sun. Crest is going to be probably used on Trick Room for the most part. Dawn Fan, your reliable stealth rocker. Uh, trying to look around as well to see if there's anything else that sticks out. Hippowder on being down here too. So Sand, uh, though there's not really much Sand abusers besides like what the Sand, uh, sand Slash. As a support mod and maybe on a stallier team can definitely work but then you have all the guts users around here and all the hard hitters so this is such an interesting tier right you you kingdra type of thing with very limited fairy types sounds awesome i think nasa plot miss maggie sounds pretty cool with mystical fire the the king and queen are down here as well that can do a lot of work so there is a lot reggie steel your staple rosary with the spikes your rotom forms uh, Surf Tree is another good mon that's for the Sun, and then you have like Slowbro and Slow King, which are great uh, checks to basically anything special and physical, depending on the sets. Snorlax can be a Rush Talk Super, which actually has potential down here too. So we can do what it does. It doesn't have access to pressure though, but it could still combine and rest with Inner Focus. No pressure. Swallow doesn't have access to Boom Burst currently, which sucks for it because it only gets Boom Burst from like what Norvern or Chadot, and then like Norvern's not the game, and Chadot can't get it either right now. 
Uh, Tycho T spikes, Torque of the Sun setting, Typhlosion has a lot of leeway. We already saw Venomoth, Quiver Dance, Tinted Lens set sound pretty deadly in their own right. I just going, going, going. Zapdos for defogging, but there's no hurricane, there's no heat wave, there's no hidden power. So, like, Zapdos is really limited in what it can do. And I think, think the specs he Mega has its own thing. So, this will be an interesting tier. Uh, definitely, guys, let me know your thoughts on uh, the insane stats, right? I, I, I said insane because what the hell, bro? 32%? You know how much is 30% of that many battles that they're using? Like, the first four Pokemon basically have 30% usage. It's insane. But, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely play some Yu Yu as well. It looks a lot of fun. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.